Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to add your own colors to Breakdance's global color palette and apply those colors anywhere. So to open up the global colors, you're going to go to the dot 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 menu, go to global settings, and then go to colors. And to add your own custom colors to the palette, you're just going to go to palette, and then choose add color. I'm just going to call this uh, main one, and let's go ahead and make that a purple. Let's add a color called accent. And I'm going to make this kind of uh, orangish, orangish yellow. And uh, let's add another called uh, dark text. And I'm going to make this a kind of a bluish gray. And I've now added uh, three colors to my palette. Now let's go ahead and use those colors in our elements. So let's go to add and let's add a heading to the page. Let's go to the design options, typography, and under color. When we open up the color picker, we're going to see our own palette colors appear there with the labels we mouse over. So let's make this heading uh, dark text. And now let's go ahead and add in a button. And let's go to the design options for the button. Let's go to custom and open up the custom options. Let's set the button background color to main number one. And uh, let's go ahead and go to the section and set the background to accent. And there we go. We're now uh, using global colors in our elements. And if we go back to the global settings, go to the palette, and let's say we change this. Let's say we actually don't want to use purple. We want to use pink. As you can see, that's going to take effect everywhere that those global palette colors are used. Okay, that is how to use Breakdance's global colors and create your own color palette that you can use everywhere. One useful tip is that if you've added a color to an element and you later want to add it to your color palette, that's easy to do as well. So let's say I added a section of the page and I went to background, and instead of setting it from the palette, I just set the color manually. And let's say I want to add this color to my palette later. All I have to do once I've chosen the color is click the plus icon next to my palette colors, and it'll enter a name for a color. I'll just call this Accent 2, and Save. And that's going to add this to my color palette. So if we go to Global Settings and Palette, we'll see that that new color I just created appears there, and I can now use this color at any other element just by opening the color picker and choosing it from the palette. 